What's up guys? You guys might um, realize that I have the same clothes on, the same hat, and the same sunglasses as I did in my last vlog. And there's a great reason for that. No, I'm not a dirty person, and no, I do not wear the same clothes every single day. The simple fact is I'm recording two videos in one day. And the reason is, is because tomorrow is supposed to be pouring down rain and freezing cold. On another note, um, I had an awesome topic for you guys, which I wanted to throw into the last vlog, but it would have been too long. And like I said, guys, it takes forever to upload these videos at my house. Um, I'm trying to find some way that I can compress the size a little bit and uh, make it a little bit smaller without hurting the quality. And, um, whoa, that was, that was weird. And uh, still uploaded it in a timely manner for you guys. So, the last vlog, the one that was like 10 minutes, the, like the American Idol vlog, that shit, not even long. I up started uploading it at 3 p.m. And it did not end until over 1 a.m. in the morning. And that is way too fucking long. So, I am going to try to kind of just cut them down a little bit. I hope you guys don't mind. But I got to do what I got to do while I'm in Charleston. Alright, so, this topic is going to be about guns, handguns in, in specific though, um, do you guys like handguns, throw it down in the comments if you do, throw it down in the comments if you guys carry a handgun, if you guys have your CWP permit, um, a concealed weapons permit, permit, um, I personally don't because I am 19 years old and you can't get one until you're 21. Um, but uh, luckily in South Carolina, you are legally able to carry your handgun in a closed compartment, loaded or unloaded, um, in your car. So it could be in my center console, it could be in my glove box, it could be in a locked box if it has an external fastener on it. Um, and yeah, I know the law because I'm not trying to get in jail. But the real reason on this video is I'm trying to gauge what y'all's favorite guns are. If y'all have one, what is your everyday carry gun and why? Um, personally, I always had a, well, I had a Taurus for my first gun, or first handgun. Uh, I had a Taurus PT, um, PT, something, something, something. <laughs> Millennium Pro. Um, I just for some reason can't remember that right now. But, uh, that gun was, I thought it was great. It felt good in your hands. It was good. It was whatever. Now, it wasn't that reliable. It would, I mean, it shot a lot of ammo, but there was some stuff that you could throw at it, hollow points and stuff, that it literally would just not, it would not cycle. It would not, it would stove pipe. It would jam. It would just, it was just shitty. I didn't like it. Um, it definitely, ah, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. So, probably about uh, a year ago, maybe a little bit over a year ago, um, I ended up getting a, oh my gosh, I hope you guys can see that in the fucking video. There's a damn Challenger or a Charger, I don't know the difference between the two, but it had purple fucking lights. I hope you guys saw that. But yeah, I ended up picking up a Glock 26, 4th gen, newest one, um, and I can tell you, I do not think I'll be going back to Taurus anytime soon, and I do not think I'll be getting rid of my Glock anytime soon. Um, that gun has not failed me one time. I personally do not think it's ever misfired or, or uh, stovepiped or anything on any ammo that I've thrown out of it or thrown into it. <laughs> um, I really, I'm trying to think. I mean, I, I put a good bit of a good bit of ammo through, and I really don't think it's messed up one time. And uh, that really that really means a lot because you know you don't want to you don't want a gun that you're going to depend your life on if uh, it's going to jam or fuck up. Which, you know, mind you, probably that will never come to the conclusion or happening of having to use it to defend yourself. Um, but, you know, just saying, if it does, you know, if that if that time does happen where you do have to use it, um, you definitely want to be able to depend on your firearm to not jam. And what the fuck is happening right now? What the fuck is that, dude? Oh my gosh. I will say, though, um... One time I was eating at Zaxby's and uh, it was it was nighttime and I was in a really shitty area and uh, I was eating in the parking lot. I had my windows like kind of cracked and my doors were all locked. My car was off um, and all of a sudden uh, this dude just this dude literally just ran up to my door, tried to open it. He pulled the handle and it was locked, so I gladly it didn't open. Um, but uh, you know that fucking scared me and I was like. I was, I'm not, you know, what the fuck are you supposed to think? I mean, he wasn't trying to say hello. He would have knocked, you know what I'm saying? Like, he literally tried to open up the fucking door. You know, so you just gotta, I guess you just gotta, kind of gotta be a, um, aware of your surroundings. Um, and I know some states aren't 
as gun friendly as my state is, um, and some states are even more friendly. Um, but you just gotta know your laws, I guess, with your states. Um, but I got a Glock 26 fourth gen, like I was saying, and it's it's really good. It's the uh, it's a subcompact nine millimeter. Um, you know, I didn't want a full size gun. You know, cool. Everybody, oh, I got a full size gun. I'm a badass. Whatever. Cool, dude. I don't give a fuck. You know, a full size gun's not gonna be able to fit in my. Um, uh, glove box, and it's surely not going to fit into my center console, so what good is it, you know? And, um, also, I'm kind of a small dude, like, I'm tall, but I'm not, like, you know, I'm small, you know, like, I'm thin, you know, whatever. Um, so, you know, whenever I do turn 21, and whenever I am able to get my concealed weapons permit, um, I would like to be able to, uh, to conceal it, <laughs> you know? A big-ass fucking gun is going to be kind of hard to do. So, I got the subcompact 9mm and I love it. It fits my hand perfectly. Um, it feels awesome. It's super accurate. I am, I personally love it. I mean, I can't say enough about it. And um, I actually, I went out and I bought my mom a Smith & Wesson m and Shield. And that is also a subcompact 9mm. Uh, um, it's single stack. Uh, it holds... I believe it holds... 10 rounds or 8 rounds? No, maybe 8 rounds. I didn't admit, yeah, I think that's what it was, 8 rounds. Uh, and that's another thing, the Glock 26, the stock magazines, or the magazines that come with it, whatever you want to say, um, it's 10 rounds plus 1, so you got 11 total rounds. That's, I mean, that's a good amount for a subcompact 9mm. Um, but yeah, so I got her a MMP 9mm, and she liked it. I personally really liked it. Um, it felt awesome. Uh, honestly, I think that gun felt pretty, pretty good, if not maybe a little bit better than the Glock, uh, with my own hands at least. Uh, but the thing was, is uh, it was just too big for her. She wasn't able to rack the slide, and she just didn't feel comfortable with it. She felt like she wasn't able to use it. Um, so, yesterday, me and my mom actually went shooting, and we... I took her to the gun store beforehand. We went to Palmetto State Armory. They have a new store in Charleston, South Carolina. And it's really nice. It's big. It's open. It's got a lot of shit. Uh, but we actually went there, and my mom actually uh, was able to help hold the new Glock 42 4th Gen. Uh, it's their brand new um, 380 Auto, uh, you know, subcompact. Well, I don't know if it's subcompact. I guess you would call it subcompact. Uh, it's kind of like a pocket pistol, really. It's fucking, it's small. Um, if I if I remember, I'll throw up the picture of it. Um, so it's small. It's smaller than the Block 26. It's chambered in 380 auto, and it's really just an overall awesome gun. That gun feels fucking amazing in your hands. That gun feels better than the Block 26 in your hands. I personally did not like it better than my Glock 26. Um, I was a lot more accurate with my Glock 26, mainly probably because uh, I just, I'm more used to it, really. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still a Glock. Uh, you can, re you know, you can rely on it. And uh, that one's a single stack um, as well, and it's six rounds plus one, I believe, or seven plus one. I think it's six plus one. That gun's awesome. Uh, she really likes it. She's able to rack the slide. It's just a good size for her. Um, and it's just an all-around good gun. But yeah. So throw down in the comments, guys, um, what you guys carry every day or what you guys would carry or what your favorite handgun is. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to read those. I just want to just see what you guys like and what y'all's opinion is on it. Um, I guess I'm a Glock fanboy. Uh, switch to the dark side is what some people say. Um, but yeah guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, it's a great day, and uh, hit that like button if you liked the video, hit that red subscribe button, um, help me out, and uh, keep up to date with all my new videos coming out, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one, stay positive as always.